the other oh. day, I yeah. was walking down the road, and I saw a massive tarantula. It was pretty crazy. But, um... Oh, oh what? <laughs> what? Hey! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of What's the Word? Um, a mini sideshow where we talk about our episodes, break them down, talk about the characters, their mm. thoughts, their emotions, their motives. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what we do. That's what we do. <laughs> word. Word. <laughs> but what is it? A mythic word. Oh. Yes. <laughs> um, good stalling, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you Let's get into it. If you haven't watched the last episode, there has been a lot that is happening. Mm. Spoiler alert, Jace is now alive. Um, yeah. He was dead. Beyond is like, weird. <laughs> it's too weird. Older is like amazing, for sure. Yeah, I mean, a lot's happened. Yeah. Check it out. Jace. Yes. How does it feel being alive? It's pretty cool, man. Um, it's fun. We got a little taste of what a live Jace is like last session, which is going to be fun to play. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously very different from what he was like when he was missing his soul, which is um, super exciting. I, th- I think, you know, as Drea and as Amira, I definitely feel that shift where it's like, well, this is a whole like new Jace completely. Yeah. You, there's a difference between dead and alive Jace for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty excited because um, I was talking to Father Bellador about this the other day. Um, we don't use real names here. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I was saying that when Jace was missing his soul, I feel like I was almost playing him almost like bipolar, mm. where he was just having like mad mood swings between. Mm. Obviously not having a soul and things like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas now it's going to be fun to play him just regular old Jace. Um, mm. Which is gonna be cool to play such a happy character in this dark setting. Which yeah. is gonna be Do you know awesome. what he is like with that with, with a soul? Like, because you've never really played that, so do you know do you know what he's like? Or are you gonna kind of work it out? I'm kind of working it out as I go. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a pretty good idea what he was like when I made him, mm-hmm. but like obviously playing him missing his soul for so long, I haven't mm-hmm. really thought about it. Yeah. So last session. I didn't like I sort of just had to jump in and just sort of make it up on the fly but um, yeah I'm pretty excited mm. and um, I'm especially excited to see his relationship with Father Bellador mm. obviously yeah. now going through all the Sigma like stuff that he went through mm-hmm. um, so he's a believer yeah I mean he literally died went to the Garden of War came yeah. back yeah and then the whole thing with Father Bell's divine mm. intervention which is crazy that was um, crazy. I mean there's not really for him to, not really much reason for him not to believe at this point. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I, I suppose the other thing is obviously him growing up in the Empire. He obviously has known about Sigma and bits and pieces about Sigma. Mm. It's just his experience with Sigma beforehand hadn't been the best. Mm. Um, with you know witch hunters and things like that, killing mm. innocents. Mm-hmm. So now with everything that's happened, um, it's also going to be a pretty cool. A little arc in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see that. What What were both of your characters' thoughts with Father Bell's divine intervention? Because obviously that's like, that's pretty pretty major evidence that yeah, Sigma's was, real. Yeah, it was crazy. I I don't think um, well for Bjorn at least anyway. Bjorn's never doubted that Sigma was there. Yeah, okay. He just looks at it from a different perspective, mm. um, because. You know, he's, he's, he knows the history of the world. Oh, mm. You know, from when Sig- like Sigma was just a man, you know what I mean? And then he did great deeds and people followed him mm. and then um, essentially worshipped him and he became a, a, a deity. Yeah. You know, he had bigger, you know, this divine power or whatever it is. Mm. Um, and I think that's how Bjorn looks at it. He's just like, this is just a dude mm. with a lot of power. Yeah. Okay. Um, and his power comes from belief. Mm. Um, but you know, he doesn't, it's not that he doesn't believe in Sigma, he, mm. it's like he acknowledges and understands, but he also acknowledges and understands that other powers out there, Yeah. you know, you know what I mean? And, mm. um, I don't think Bjorn, uh, <laughs> in his arrogance, he doesn't bow to anything, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, and that's, that's not. I don't know if that's a good trait or a bad trait. It's mm. just an arrogant thing that he's always been like. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? So I don't think he would... I don't know, maybe he'll change, but um, the most... It's, 
strangely enough, the most thing Bjorn believes in mm. when it comes to power mm. is his own power. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Like, he, mm. he's... And again, that's probably arrogance. You know, that's, mm. poor, that's gone into some bad spots a few times, but when he you know, goes into battle, he doesn't rely on anyone else. He relies on himself. Does mm. that sort of make sense? Mm. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So... Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. He never once went. Yo, Sigma, help, help Jace out. Yeah. No, he went and did it himself. He yeah. pulled it back from Ether himself. You know what I mean? Yeah, like cool. that's how he is. Yeah. Like but he, he always understood and believed. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I that think for Drea, the kind of same thing. Like she never doubted that he was there or that other powers were there. It's just more though, going through the end of the world, and then finding no one there to help when they have mm. so much power. And then coming back and the respons- responsibility of ending the end of the world. Mm. It was like, well, well, why am I doing this? If there's yeah. so many people with so much power, why why are they doing nothing? Yeah, okay. And I think for her, it's like, mm. you know, Sigma did such a great thing for Father Bell when he asked for it. But I don't quite know how to explain it. Like, when mm. she needed a power, they weren't there, you know? Yeah, okay, good. So it's like, well, I think Dre's almost in her heart being like, you won't help me. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, well, I mean, sort of playing off what you were saying about, obviously, Bjorn knowing the history of Sigma and knowing that he was just a man and stuff like that. For Jace, he didn't, he doesn't really know mm. the backstory behind it, I feel like. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like Jace is just very, like, simple. <laughs> yeah. So he just sort of saw the thing and he's like, yep, that's just real now. That's just mm-hmm. how it is, yeah. sort mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. Um, so, so he always thought it was, what, well, like, made up stories from the Church of Sigma or something. Well, again... You know, he, he, not to cut you off, but even mm. within that, you know, there is, like, you've got your pious people like Riley and... Yeah. Um, um, what's the big guy's name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, but, you know, there will mm. be people that are hypocritical. There will be, yeah. um, you know, the... Uh, what do, you, what do you call it? Like, the, you know, the people that just, like, sprout Sigma, 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 the light or whatever, but yeah. they actually just abuse that to do whatever they want. Yeah, I think I think that's the cool thing for Jace, because he's sort of seen both sides of the coin. Because mm. in um, Nagarov, uh, there are some, like, uh, witch hunters that get employed because they just don't have enough there. Um, mm. And those people are literally just pretty much random people off the street or like criminals and, and things like that that just sort of get in and abuse the power really? mm. under Sigma yeah exactly wow. how, how, what? what how do they qualify <laughs> like there you there oh no <laughs> the witch there's like there's okay. a process for it but obviously like with that power there are people that abuse it and witch mm. hunters and things like that yeah um, so that's what Jace had experienced before this so he's seen that there's like a distinct difference between people that manipulate Sigma's will and then people like Father Bell who actually believe it. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, which is going to be super cool. Yeah. But yeah, for you guys, what do you, what does Drea think about Bjorn after coming out like this yeah. for so long? Obviously tatted up and yeah. sort of unkept, not very Bjorn like, is it? <laughs> I mean, we were talking about this before, but I I think. Even though everything that they've been through, there's always been a small part of Dre that's tried to keep her warm because she's like, well, if I lose Bjorn or if he abandons me like the rest, you know? And I think not having him, even though it was for a few hours, I think she's realised the comfort that she feels with him and how much she relies on him, how much of a brother he is to her. Mm. And now coming back, she's like, there are things that she doesn't know that he's been through. Yeah. You know? And I think there's concern for if there's a shift in his thinking, if there's a shift, mm. you know? But I think it's also a stronger sense of, but this is my brother, you know? No matter what it is, like... Finally. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> finally. Ooh. Sense of, yeah, like, at least she knows that she won't turn away and he won't turn away. Yeah, gotcha. I'm excited, though, to find out what actually went, like, what what happened, you know? You were gone for a few hours know. and came back. Yeah. Completely yes. different. I uh, wonder um, what happened. Yeah, a, a lot. Chain breaker. A lot happened. I love that yeah. title of chain breaker mm. so much. Yeah, so do I actually. 
Yeah, um... Because you've had a few titles in your time, haven't you? Bjorn? Yeah. Has not. No? Is it Boulder that's had it? Boulder has, Bjorn. Mm. There were, okay, well this is an interesting point. So there was once upon a time where, you know, in Bjorn's youth, you know, he was like the best at what he did, right? This is back in Dylan, um, mm. Dylan Jock when, um, yeah, Boulder was still around a lot of stuff, like before everything started, right? Um, and all he dreamt about was making a name for himself. Mm. Similar to how Boulder made a name for himself. As, you know, Boulder had this big moment um, where he walked into the worst storm to save his brother, right? And came back successful yeah. when no one thought he would. And so he was given the title, The Fell Winter. Right? Oh, that's right, and Bjorn always wanted that for himself. He wanted mm -hmm. to go out and make a name for himself and just become, uh, I suppose, famous. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. For for his deeds and mm. his, you know, I don't know, his fighting skills or his, you know, wit with the ladies or yeah. whatever. Like he just wanted to be out there. Like everyone, he wanted his name to be out there and and to be given titles like that. Mm. Um, and it's funny because he never achieved that. And across everything that's happened to him, he's, that, you know, he, that's become less and less important to him to mm. the point where the Bjorn who wanted that and the Bjorn that's now current mm. are almost two different people. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know when you like have yeah. like a, uh, something that you really, when you're a kid and you grow up and you're like, uh, well, I'm, I'm older than both of you, yeah. but, but you know, and you're like, oh, that was kind of like stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, so he's he's <laughs> like that now, and that's the beautiful irony of it yeah. that he, he now actually has a title. Yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah. He, you know, I yeah. do like chain breaker though for Bjorn because I feel like for mm. himself and for others he has just broken chains. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Because it's not just this moment, also like going back to Skink Man who was in yeah. chains. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's uh, even in a way Skrillex. Yeah. You know, yeah. I feel like you've broken his chains of slavery mm. even when Skrillex wasn't aware of it yeah yeah very true yeah I feel I, yeah. I, uh, yeah like there's a few stories that have happened in the campaign but I like to think that Bjorn's always tried to you know he, like he's never really been a really really good person or a really, really bad person he's just been just a guy trying to make yeah. his way in the world you know what I mean and he's got flaws and everything but I like to feel that he's always um, felt like even though he's a noble and he comes from wealth, he's yeah. never been comfortable with people being oppressed, especially yeah. for their status. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and back in Dellinger, they don't the you know the lords and the commoners don't really have that separation as much as it is in the empire. Mm. They're more on equal ground. Yeah. Okay. Um, there is a little bit there, but it's it's a little bit it's a smaller gap than it is in the empire, yeah, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Um, but uh, even when I was still playing Boulder and he was, um, Bjorn was on his way to become the Ever Chosen. Um, he was helping out um, Kyla's sister, I Isabel. Uh, what was yeah. her name? Uh, yeah, Isabel. No, Isabel. Yeah. yeah, he was helping her out. He didn't free her, which he always felt bad about, but he always helped her out. <laughs> yes. um, but, you know, like at that point, he was, he had chaos, you know, whispering in his ear and yeah. he was consigned to becoming. The destroyer of the world getting yeah. this title yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> basically um and uh yeah that was that was probably his worst moment but he was still helping someone who yeah yeah you know, needed it uh, anyway. yeah. yeah wow how much he's changed hey yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was cool okay yeah. <laughs> another question when you chucked out the warden's head yeah did you know that was going to be silver space I had I didn't expect that. At I didn't expect that at yeah. all. I was like, what? What is going on? Uh, uh yes. You did? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I um <laughs> it's it's weird because you don't know anything about it. You know yeah. a little bit about it. Um Tell but essentially me and the warden mm -hmm. uh clashed several mm. times until he finally gave me that punishment that you know mm. about. Mm -hmm. um, what punishment? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like that, that face was revealed. Wow. Yeah. wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, that's crazy. What surprised me more, even though I sort of like knew this as well, but like that the, all the guards were also clones. Also yeah. clones, yeah. But it makes sense, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was a. Uh, yeah. I knew, I knew that one. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. Dante has said that he's um, defeated quite a few silver clones. Mm. There was a specific number that he said, 200 and something, I think. Mm. Did he? Yeah, I can't remember. Like, Something like that, but... Yeah, I think they said only two or three. Really? I don't know why I remember two or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that does sound like a lot. Mm. Yeah. Um. But it's interesting, I'll just... On that, on that point, like, when, when Bjorn came out through the head, you know, obviously Silver's there as well, mm. uh, but he, he didn't try to, like, attack that Silver and think he's the same or anything like that. He knew. You know what I mean? Like, he, like, for a long time, he's just been fighting versions of silver basically yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. it'll be interesting and to it, see and this yeah for your movie. revelation because mm-hmm. like they never took off their masks yeah but until we until we took them off ourselves sort of thing yeah yeah but for you it's also like well you've been you know imprisoned yeah. by coins of silver this whole time mm-hmm. as well. it's weird yeah it's a weird feeling but um but you know Bjorn didn't come out going you know that, you gotta kill that guy too like, yeah he was like he understood the separation and I feel like that, mm. that would have been um, like he understood there's a clone in there but at the same time also feel like Bjorn is like you know like when you tried to help him up he put, put a dagger to your throat straight mm. away um, he is now very dangerous mm. in that sense yeah um, so like you know he if if he's going to strike it's a strike to kill like it's not yeah. he's not going to like you know, threaten someone or anything. Okay. You know what I mean? He means what he says. Yeah. Yeah, so it, I think that part, and I think Apes um, tried to sort of convey that with the way he was describing him, because, mm. yeah. Like, again, if he knew what he'd been through, basically, he's not on edge, he's in control, but he's lived a very threatening mm. life for the last however long. Ah, just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That does change a person. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just think about it as well. Like in a place where there's no day or night, there's no food, yeah. there's no, there's mm. no, like normal hourly structure to the yeah. to, to the days. Just that would so drive it just, yeah. it just yeah. there is no real perception of how long. But he was there. It is a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So but it's not also I'll just clarify as well it's not like he's aged 20 years yeah you know like he doesn't look that much older but he's definitely a lot weathered because his body is just scarred to death um and uh yeah you know like he's he's got that yeah. like that like weary look in his eyes mm. now yeah cool. yeah okay alright another question um what are both of your thoughts on Dario eventually stabbing Jace? Because, mm. I mean, Ooh. you... Was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. But, like, you just came out of the Aether yeah. and sort of pieced it together. Yeah. And then I remember you said... Um, you said something like, oh, so you all ended up turning on each other yeah, or so something like that. And it just sounded so, like... Disappointed. Cold. Oh, yeah, like, disappointed. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> But yeah, what's what's both of your characters' thoughts on, on that? Okay. That's, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, I was unconscious when it happened, so mm. I think Dre is still piecing it together as well, but the sense of what did happen, but also, I don't know, it's hard because I think when it comes down to it, at least she knows that Daria was able to do what he needed to do for Jace when it yeah. counted, yeah. but then it's like, oh, because... Mm. He ran a, like a sword through you. Through know my right? heart, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But um, I feel like that's the first time I've really seen him get like angry yeah. before, mm. which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely a big shift. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. The four natural twenties definitely helped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think yeah, if like Jace is cool with it, then Drea will be cool with it, kind yeah. of thing. I yeah. feel like it's not something that she can have her own strong emotion towards because she's like well Dario's just doing what he needed to do kind of thing yeah you know? mm. yeah gotcha yeah yeah I mean how about Bjorn because mm. like you said you literally popped into the Aether mm-hmm. to try and get Jace's soul back mm-hmm. figured out that you know 
I guess you pieced together that Dario ended up killing, having to kill him. Mm-hmm. Well, what was... Like, was he disappointed or was yeah. there something else? Yeah. Like, oh. I'm glad you guys felt that way because that's what I was trying to convey. Yeah. Um, I mean, I felt disappointed sitting there. I was like... I yeah. down my drawer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, but it's interesting, right? Because, um, you know, Bjorn is historically very emotional. Mm. But he was, he just mm. like, pieced it all together, understood what happened, and yet he was disappointed, for sure. Yeah, okay. But he didn't go, how could this happen or anything? He was just like... It is what it is, sort of thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Like... You know, everyone's still up, everyone's still living, everyone's healing. Hmm. He doesn't... There's, it happened, there's nothing else that needs to happen. Mm. Is know he know? curious as to how it happened or why it happened? Or is no. he just like, he just doesn't want to... No, I think, I think he... Like, even though there was limited information, I think he 100% understands the whole situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, I, I, you know... <laughs> I know we'll help on about this a little bit, but... <laughs> with Bjorn's intelligence you know he's really like in my head i feel like he is like a sherlock holmes yeah almost, mm-hmm. where he can walk yeah. into a room and be like this 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 all these little in like small details mm. uh, and understand what's happened for the last oh, how yeah. yeah like i'm not i'm gonna say he's gonna sit there in his wine palace and you know think about <laughs> yeah. all this stuff oh, but yeah. but the point is he if he wants to figure something out he just a look around will generally give him all the information yeah, he needs. Gotcha. Um, so I think, yeah, he 100%, 100% gets what happened. Um, he's disappointed that it happened, mm. but at the end of the day, it happened. Yeah, That's okay. Whatever. I feel like, um, yeah. I feel like Bjorn's become like almost more stoic mm. after yeah. his experience in there. Like, sort of just keeps moving forward sort of thing. Is, well, what, is the vibe I'm getting? Yeah, well, that's, that's cool as well because you know like he he had to keep moving to yeah. survive sort of thing yeah, you know yeah. what i mean so he yeah it's definitely going to be a bit of a different Bjorn than before mm, but it's going to be hard because i want to like not completely erase mm. how he used to be as well yeah um and i feel like maybe he'll warm up again a little bit mm. when he's hanging out with you guys yeah. but I don't think he'll go all the way back I think he's just Ooh. been through mm. and seen through too much and just you know for a while I don't think he'll be able to go oh, I can just relax yeah. I can, I can, um, you know we're safe you know, I don't mm. think he can do yeah. that you know like even with the church of um, what was it the, the sanctuary with the light with the protection around it mm. he still went around put up the same because yeah. he's not taking any chances yeah, you know what yeah. I mean yeah it's super cool um, so yeah I think uh, yeah oh, I don't know we'll see we'll see yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it'll be interesting to yeah. see yeah. how the characters all mm. go now with the different yeah. dynamics we're all friends yeah. hopefully hopefully <laughs> yeah but I'll also say yeah just to sort of add on that you know, when we finally got to a safe spot, or beyond us, normally mm. would sit down with Dre. Yeah. Or sit down mm. with Dario, or do something, or joke around, or something, yeah. right? He kind of just went stood on his own. Yeah. Um, you know, how, you know if, if, some, if someone's been like alone for a period of time, right? Mm. Like, even if you put yourself in a room for like a day right and don't talk to anyone mm. when you get out of that room it's weird to be around yeah. people again and to talk to people mm. yeah gotcha. and Bjorn's been alone for a long time mm. and had no one to talk to except for himself for a long time yeah. and so even though everything is still good you know, like obviously he still cares yeah. mm. but um, yeah his, his yeah his, his social interactions have probably dropped off a little yeah. bit yeah wow you know? Yeah. I think it's it'll be so different from the Bjorn that we do know who's social all the time, do you know what I mean? Even yeah. in the yeah. face of danger, he's still joking around, he's still, you mm. know. Mm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Hmm. With I'm gonna call it new Bjorn. <laughs> what's um we haven't really brought this up, but like what was what's his thoughts on Astrid now? 
Because I that's like, a really good question. I'm assuming it's still something that's really important to him, but obviously mm. with this new mindset, like is he gonna does he wanna chase after it? Mm-hmm. And like follow it up or is he Dude, just gonna leave it? That's such a good question. I can't believe that you even thought of that because 'cause I've been running that through my oh, head. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, wow. Um I think Astrid Bjorn's been um overcoming a lot of demons mm. across his journey. Mm. Right? Part of it is acknowledging what happened with his mother, right? Mm. And that was a visit to the grave that we mm. wrote together. <laughs> um, you know, there's been a lot of things, you know, helping skin cancer, you know, a lot of things where he's even helping you. Yeah. You know, in a way, he's trying to not make up, but, you know, put some good to dampen the bad that he did. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, for a long time, he just ran away from his problems. So, across the journey, slowly, he's been facing mm. those demons one by one, right? Yeah, okay. Um, interesting enough, being in the ether for so long, with um, a lot of uh, um, angry, <laughs> departed <laughs> mm. that Bjorn put there himself. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It was yeah. Basically, one of the biggest things that he could never really face, he faced in the ether. Hmm. And that's cool. I don't want to go into too much detail because there's a lot there. Yeah. But um. Long story short, going back to Astra, Astra is the last demon that he's gonna face. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah, he's really. He's at a point where he's kind of resolved all the conflict inside him mm. and Astrid's the last one. Okay. So that's why it's been in my head because I don't know, I can't manipulate the stories too much but I want to mm. go to Astrid but um, yeah, he'll have to reface that at some point. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like he won't be, you know, he won't get to where he needs to be, he'll fail mm. unless he faces it. Yeah, okay. oh, I'm excited. Me yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I didn't expect that question. That was good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah interesting. Yeah. Alright, some questions back at you guys. Mm. Okay. Go for it. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, Alright, so. I'm going to say start with Drea first okay. off. Mm-hmm. So, you have been slowly. On the trajectory of getting more and more angry, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and more <laughs> frustrated with everything, and yeah. frustrated with where you're getting your power from, and mm. frustrated with you know not getting to the ever chosen, and, and and all that that stuff, right? And ads and all that sort of stuff. Um, now that this is all gone, this this is we're at a point where we've, we can close one chapter, hopefully. Now, mm. where do you feel? Drea would want to go next. Mm, you know what I mean? Because question. because kind of Bjorn was the only one who wanted to help Jace, right? <laughs> and you came with Bjorn and you know, Yeah, Yeah, I said sort of... I said to Jace like, um Drea almost didn't even believe Jace would get his salvation when he came because you were going. Mm. We we're just like mm, you yeah. know? Yeah. And then you almost got killed for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Yeah. Yeah. How, well, I suppose yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> how how do you feel about that? Um, and also I don't know where we're going to go next, but where would Trey want to go? Because mm. you've been yeah. building up that frustration of why yeah. are we going after the other chosen? I think, you know, I, I started off this chapter, Dre had so much anger and so much frustration, like you were saying, and it just built and built and built, and I feel like it's come to a breaking point where she's been angry ever since, really ever since way back sh- before mm. she came to this world, you know? Yeah. She's just, just been running, she's just been building, it's come to a breaking point where she's like, she still wants her revenge on Border, but she's not sure if she's willing to sacrifice what she has now, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, before, she would sacrifice anything. That was mm-hmm. the only thing that she was going... Like, even if with her last breath she would get that revenge, that was okay with her, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> Whereas now, I think she's gone to a point where she's like, I still want this revenge, but is it the most important thing for me? You know, mm-hmm. am I willing to sacrifice... Like, Azra lost his eyes for her, even after she mm-hmm. did everything. And it's mm-hmm. like... Even Bjorn, everything that he's been through, everything that she's put him through, 
it's like, am I, and I think as well, not having him in a, in a place that was so dark mm. really made her realise that she doesn't want to be alone. Mm. Like she doesn't want to end up yeah. alone. And she doesn't, yeah. she... But she also knows that that is the future, right? Like, ultimately, that will yeah. be your future again. Unless you do something about it. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But I think she's going to a point where now where she's like, if that, if she fails and the world does end, at least she won't be alone at the end of it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Last mm. time she was alone. Mm. Yeah. She had absolutely no one. This time she's like, well, I think she's accepted that the world might end again, but it's like, mm. I'm okay with the ending with the people around me now. You mm. know, maybe, maybe I do want wow. Fiona next to me when the world is ending. Maybe mm. that's, yeah, wow. Like, maybe she doesn't have to be alone and mm. go through this journey of destroying herself and destroying the people around her just to destroy Boulder. Mm. You know? So, back in um, Nagaroth? Yeah. Uh, where you were trying to get the eye of Ashura in and doing all that stuff and going behind people's backs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, is that going to pick up again? Yeah, I think... Oh, no, 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 I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm just wondering if, if she's that yeah. same girl yet. I think mm. it's still so important to her, but she's willing to share that now, you know? Like, mm. rather than hiding everything, especially all of that stuff, I think she's mm. willing to be like, hey, if we went through all of this to get Jace's soul mm. back, and she was a part of it, like, mm. you were absolutely dead, and now you've got your soul back, you know? Yeah. Then... Maybe these people around me can help me. Maybe it doesn't, mm. like... Well, do you consider them as allies? Because for a long time, yeah. it's really Bjorn, Dre, Dario. Yeah. yeah and then much. for this, we dropped Dario. Yeah. And had that little oh. fight with him. And yeah. he also killed his best friend. I did. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was that drama. But, yeah. yeah, hopefully that's healed. But then it's also like, well, this guy killed, essentially tried to kill you. Silver yeah. is... At this stage, I feel like... Sorry? Didn't give you his code. Exactly. Yeah, I'm still mad about that. I feel like the silver still his... his, It's a... What can he gain from being around us type? Like, he can use us to get to his own means. He doesn't... It's not necessarily his ally to help us. Yeah. Um, So I don't... And hopefully we'll get there, but I feel like that's the case. So, um, I don't know. Do you feel like you're safe within this group of people or is it still Bjorn and I, potentially Dari? I think some more than others and I think mm. that's why I'm excited to see where the story goes because mm-hmm. I think What about Cyrus? Yeah, because mm. you, you were yeah. here with that a few yeah. clashes yeah. as well I think Cyrus and Drea are such an interesting mix because how do I explain it? Like Drea has a lot of religious guilt I find and a lot of re- religious resentment. So just being around Father Bell itself mm. is hard for her. Mm. Yet, seeing him in his power and seeing how nothing like shakes him, it just makes Dre angry. Mm. You know, yeah. like mm. yeah. So I feel like she also knows that Father Bell, you know, his religion and his purpose is the most important thing to him. She knows if she did something. He would send her away kind of thing mm-hmm. so i feel like she trusts some more than others for jace like um like i was saying she didn't really believe you would get your soul back but mm. then going through this whole journey seeing you get your soul back seeing herself be a part of it really she really admires that and really gives her hope but also the fact that you were dead and you were running out of time yet you were so willing to mm. go with drea just to find Fionn, Dar- um and yeah. dante it was like hey I vibe with you. Yeah, you know? like, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Like, if you were willing to do that when you were literally, like, you did not have any more yeah. time left, is like, well, I feel like I can trust you. Yeah, gotcha. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So, okay, hypothetically, if in this little sanctuary, the party was like, all right, Drea, you're the leader, where are we going? Where would she take us? I think the first thing would be the Irish Ring. You know, yeah, finding the yeah the eye of Ashurin. finding information oh, about it, finding information about it, trying to get it because I think that's the most important thing to Dre right now because she knows if the ever chosen gets that in her timeline, mm. like in this timeline, it's over kind of thing. You yeah, know, okay. it's like a race: who gets there first is who mm. gets that head start. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I s- is that sort of the difference between like now Drea and the start of season Drea? Because I feel like at the start. 
they would have just been like, all right, well, if you guys aren't coming, I'm just going to go get it myself. Yeah. Whereas now, would she be more like, like, hey guys, we should, we should go do this. Yeah, <laughs> and I thing. think she, even if we don't go to that path straight away, I think she realises that she can still go on that path with you guys you know like yeah it you know if we find a little bit of information here and you know we meet someone here and mm. even though it's not directly like you know we gotta go do this now we gotta you know yeah it's gotcha. still i'm traveling along that path anyways yeah okay yeah cute yeah mm. interesting yeah, i think it'd be interesting to see mm. yeah i feel like dre's already made some pretty big impacts on the world compared to her timeline like, yeah mm. Like I sort of mentioned before, Father Bellador knows about the end of the world now. Mm. Yeah. Which I'm assuming would be earlier than what he would have found out in your timeline. Yeah. And obviously with his position and power, I feel like he can make some really big impacts towards it. Yeah. And then Jace probably would have died. <laughs> yeah. Or definitely would have died without you there. I feel like Bjorn potentially wouldn't be around as well. Yeah, at, wow. At this point. Mm. Because of the crew. Wow. Yeah, because he was... Uh, um, like, I don't know if you've got, like, a set idea of what happened in the future to mm. all these characters, but um, Bjorn, had, Bjorn had nothing to hold on to. Mm. And he was yeah. he was spiralling and he was about to, you know, just, like, if he was probably, you know, um, strong enough, he probably would have offed himself, <laughs> I, yeah. I imagine. I yeah, as, as sad as that is, but, like, I, f- I feel like he just had nothing left and he just saw no redemption mm. until you came along and you were like, yo, I'm your sister. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was it was like, yeah, you know, I think that was like the, the change for him. Like, yeah. it wasn't immediate, but it was like, wait, no, I do have something. Yeah. So I don't, I don't feel like yeah. they would have been around at this point as well. But do you know what? It's, it's interesting you say that, because like, even for Drea, I feel like she was thrown into the situation of coming to this world. And at first it was like, the guilt of, okay, i got to do this because of all the people that died to get me here. And then mm. it was like, well, actually, that's just a cover because... I actually just want my revenge, like, mm-hmm. you know? And then now, with so much anger, I feel like it's gotten to a point where she's like, like, it, she would let it consume her, and, you know, she would probably die trying to mm-hmm. stop this, yeah, okay. or really getting her revenge on Boulder. But the reality is, if she did that, what still happens to the world, you know? Yeah. Whereas now I feel like she has something to fight for, where she's like, hmm. well, actually, I want to stop the world because you know, beyond my brother. What mm. is, what life could I have now? Or mm, I want to yeah. stop the world, like, I want to see Trevor's noodle and thread. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. it's a different perspective now, whereas it's, before it was just, I have so much anger and I have so much frustration and I want to take it out on the person who did this to me. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's cool, because I feel like that's, how Bjorn's felt when he first met you, but now yeah. it's like mutual. Mm. Yeah. Sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. Which is cute. Uh, oh. This game is so cool. Yeah, right. The stories for the building <laughs> wow. are just insane. Yeah. All right, final question before we end up. Yeah. I'm going to ask you, Joyce. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I know we already said, how's it feel to be a lighter and how you excited mm. to play the character, but knowing everything that you and I know, yes. like, how's Jace taking that all in? You know what I mean? Like, you know, obviously you're super excited and everything, but at one point I feel like you're going to stop and go, holy Shit. hell, that's all. Yeah. All of that has actually happened. I think so too. Like, I think, um, I feel like last session was probably like the initial shock of it. Like, oh mm. my God, like we did it sort of mm-hmm. thing. Mm. But I feel like maybe in leading into next session, mm-hmm. he'll be more like actually processing what happened, obviously, with what you know. Um, but yeah, just in general as well, which is going to be interesting. Mm. Um, but yeah, it should be cool. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for our relationship, to be honest, mm. after, after this. Yeah, it should be interesting. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> it's cool because I feel like leading up to that point, mm-hmm. we were like the, almost like the Batman-Robin duo. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and then like, after that point, I feel like it's like, probably even stronger, I think. Yeah. In my opinion, at least, but for sure, for yeah. sure, yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about it. I, I, yeah, I think it'll be so interesting. But I find it hard, with like, like all this stuff and being so invested emotionally. I find it hard to go. Yeah, I think this is what'll happen, and that's what I was trying to like ask mm-hmm. you because, like, to me, it just sort of comes out in the game. 
and I'm struggling to think where, like, or what will become of this now. You yeah. Know, but I'm interested to see what happens. As yeah, well. me too. Because, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I was going to touch on it last session, mm. but we ran out of time. Mm. And, like... I think it was good, though. Yeah. It. And it's good. And, like... Yeah, the thing is, is I don't really know how it's going to go either, to be honest, mm. from, from here on out, but it's going to be interesting for show. Oh, show. Sure. And on that full show... Who wants to end us? Oh, Thank you yeah. for joining us. <laughs> um, yeah, tune in next Friday to watch the latest ep of Mythic Word where you can actually see how all of our characters' developments and things that we've spoken about play out. Yeah. And um, yeah, see the team all together. Yeah. Peace out. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So yeah, that's Tarantula. Yes, down, I'm interested. Yeah, down the road. It was uh -huh. pretty cool. I think uh -huh. it was like a...